Hey everybody, what's up? And thanks for tuning in to our final FSD drive of the day. We're here with Tesla Full Self Driving Beta 11.4.4. So let's go. Big thanks to our sponsor for this FSD drive and for all of our Cybertruck coverage this week, Streamline 3D. Streamline 3D is a great 3D printing company. Their customers include Tesla, Amazon, Rivian, and more. They can get you a part with a lead time of five days or less, sometimes as little as one day. This 3D printing technology is incredible. Use the code CYBER for 15% off your order at Streamline3D.com. All right, so we're driving along here. We've got a curvy road, cars parked on the side. Looks like we've got a pedestrian up ahead. The car's slowing for the pedestrian proceeding cautiously around the blind corner. We got other cars coming down. We got a door open here. FSD navigates it all flawlessly. And coming up, we've got a very sharp left turn. So sharp that I don't even know if the system's gonna be able to handle it, to be honest. So let's see. Hopefully it doesn't crash my brand new car. And here it is right here. It's almost like a U-turn. It's like a 270 degree turn. So we make sure nobody's coming. And boom. Wow, flawless. Couldn't have done it any better myself, to be honest. All right, now we have to make a right turn, but there is tons of traffic coming up here at high speed. So it is a little bit perilous, but right now it looks clear for some reason. Perfect. And we're gonna be continuing along here until we have to make a left onto Hawthorne Boulevard in 3.6 miles. We're driving along the coast here in California. It's just beautiful can see the ocean all around us. And we've got these beautiful curvy roads that are so fun to drive on, but also very fun to self-drive on. Because sometimes you just want to take in the view, you want to see the ocean, enjoy the trees, and not focus as much on driving for a few moments. So you can see here on the right, the ocean, or maybe you can't, I don't know. Can't even really see where the road is going. But the system is navigating just fine. Moving over to the right here. Continuing in the right lane. With the constant speed, staying in the lane, it's honestly smoother than any human driver could be. Nice smooth drive, beautiful day cars parked here on the right side. All right, slowing for a stop sign. Full NHTSA approved stop and we're off. I like to take off from the stop sign there, very good. Two point two miles away from our next left turn. A 
the softer just makes getting around so easy and comfortable. I can't even imagine what V12 is going to bring. The V11 is already capable of doing most drives so fluidly. Okay, we got another car. Very good. We got some construction here. It looks like we got a car peeking out. Stuck behind kind of a slow truck here. I would probably go around it. And so it's software. Very good. I like when it goes around things. to another stop sign. Yeah, it looks like we got a truck pulling out. 1.4 miles away. 4.4 miles away from our destination. We have some rolling hills. Makes it a little tough for the camera to see, but no problem. The software can still figure out what to do. Some crossing traffic. The car responds intelligently. Alright, it looks like the speed limit's going up from 35 to 45. That means we should be allowed to drive faster. And sure enough, the car speeds up. Great. Now we don't have to crawl along. And we're just half a mile away from our left turn. A little bit of hesitation for this car making a left turn that was unnecessary. And here we are at Hawthorne, we're going to make a left turn. Just gorgeous views of the ocean and Catalina Island on our right here. I wish I could turn the camera and show you. I need to get like one of those GoPro Max 360 cameras or something. Okay, we got a green arrow. We are free to go. That was interesting. The car wanted to make a lane change to the right, but then it aborted it because it saw the car crossing in front of us. And we're going to make a right turn in one and a half miles. Sun.
such a smooth, comfortable ride. changing lanes over to the right, preparing for our right turn in less than a mile. Okay, we're making the right turn now. Looks all clear, not sure why it's hesitating so much. And here we go. The speed here is actually 45 miles an hour, but it thinks it's 25 for some reason. So it's going way too slow. Okay, this gate has been a struggle for it for a while. There we go. Very nice. And just like that, we have arrived at our destination. I think it was pretty much a perfect drive. I mean, not perfect in the sense that I had no corrections or no mistakes, but there were zero interventions. The car performed the entire drive entirely by itself, which is computer vision. So, you know, this isn't really impressive anymore. It does this all the time. But uh, there you have it. All right. Thanks for tuning in, and thanks again to Streamline3D for sponsoring Whole Mars this week. Use the code CYBER on their website for 15% off your order. Take care. Bye.